Hi, I'm Scout from the Degenderettes, and we are making stickers to slap over gendered restroom signs that magically transform them into restrooms that everybody can use. And this Kickstarter is not just to get the funds together to print them, but is also our way of distributing them across the country. Do you want to put a sticker on a restroom? Great! Throw some dollars at this project, and we're going to help you make it happen. This project is specifically to distribute a tamper-resistant sticker. A regular vinyl sticker can just be pulled off by any passing transphobic thug, but a tamper-resistant sticker falls apart if someone messes with it, like this. Like it? Good. Obviously these stickers would be perfect for vandalism, but the degenerates would never ever ever condone that. These stickers should only be applied to signs that you own, or that you have, like, permission to put them on. I used to use urinals, you know, to save, like, water and shit, and I'd push the piss out of me as fast as I could because I felt so vulnerable facing the wall like that, wondering what it would be like to have someone bash my head into the plumbing fixture in front of my face. I don't use men's rooms anymore because that just got to be too stressful, but having a mustache means that in order to get into a women's room, I have to do this dance in order to always have my back to every other girl in the room, and then make a beeline for the closest stall, and then try not to cough in my deep-ass voice while I'm doing my business, and then usually dive out through an open window when no one is looking. In 2010, Sarah Hendren started slapping stickers over wheelchair logos in Boston, with a better logo. And in 2013, that logo was officially adopted by New York City. In 2014, Sam Kellerman made a snarky proposal to use a simple toilet graphic for gender-neutral restrooms. And months later, a manufacturer began offering that design on official restroom signs. Seeing businesses use Sam's graphic on their single occupancy restrooms has been heartwarming. It really has. And these projects inspire us that institutional change is possible using something as flimsy as vinyl. But the world is not made of single occupancy bathrooms. It's the multi-occupancy ones that are the real problem, and gendered restrooms are actually killing those of us who fall between the cracks. For me, personally, not being able to fit into one of these two doors has always made me feel like I don't belong in this world. This March, Trans Lifeline reported that their crisis call volume doubled after the North Carolina HB2 bathroom bill was signed into law. It doubled. In 2014, the Williams Institute reported that of trans people who report that they are perceived as cisgender, 36% have attempted suicide, which is already on an order of magnitude higher than the general population. And for those who aren't able to use gendered restrooms without raising alarm, that number is 6 to 14 points higher. So basically like half of all the gender non-conforming people that you have ever met. And those of us who are surviving are pissed. There's a lot more of us than you think, especially considering that we often fly under the radar just to avoid this kind of persecution. But we're not powerful enough to do this on our own. And if we're going to change this fucking culture, we need you to do it with us. And it may seem like a trite gesture, relabeling bathroom signs, but restrooms have become the focus of this battle over gender civil rights and we want direct action. This innocent looking sticker is an embodiment of our blood, sweat, and vitriol. And it is no mistake that we are using such a tenacious adhesive. So who are the degenerates? We're basically just a group of feminists and genderqueers who have each other's back. If you took your local friendly neighborhood LGBT 501c3 organization, and you like removed the NGO paperwork, the alphabet soup, and like the friendly part, we'd be the scum that's left. There are chapters in a handful of major cities, and like lone wolf members all around North America and Europe. In addition to throwing parties, riding bikes, and like loitering in the halls of the patriarchy, we also give ourselves merit badges. We've made those merit badges available to the public at degenderettes.com. If you need to join the club, or you think you can start a chapter in your own hometown, get a hold of us through that website. Thanks so much for helping us realize the dream of having every bathroom gender neutral.